Hey everybody, how's it going? So as you might remember, I had some issues with my laptop there a while back. I had a 17 inch um, laptop from Acer that I was using for my portable rig. I was using it down in LA. I was using it to you know record and edit video on and just basically do YouTube with. And um, the motherboard died on it just before I left for LA. I got it replaced, okay, great. It put me out of commission for a few days though. And that really sucks when you're trying to do three videos a week. And it lasted about four or five weeks. And then the whole right side decided to stop working. All the USB ports stopped working. The headphone jack stopped working. And you know, I made a video about that. And a bunch of you guys are like, hell yeah, right on. Thank you for telling it like it is. Yeah, that, that Acer laptop was a piece of crap. It was the three Helios 300, you know, great specs on paper. Unfortunately, they built it out of Kleenex. So a few of you guys are like, what? You think Acer's gonna give you your money back? And well, sure enough, I got a phone call and Acer was definitely down for doing a refund. Um, it's going through the whole process right now. I sent it back. It's been a couple weeks and we'll see if I get a check in the mail. So if you're having issues with your Acer laptop, don't think that returns aren't impossible. They did it for me. Who knows, well, maybe when this video comes out, they'll revoke my return and, and say deals off. But as far as I know, I haven't signed an NDA with Acer, so I'm under no obligation to not tell you guys about this. So if Acer doesn't like it, well, too bad. Here's an idea, build a better product and maybe less people will be wanting their money back. That being said, MSI has kind of stepped up to the plate and said, hey, heard you're having trouble with your Acer laptop. We've got something we'd like you to take a look at. It's a 15 inch laptop. I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed there, but apparently it's a total freaking powerhouse. So I'm gonna unbox it right here. We're gonna have a look because I got no idea what it is. All I know is they said, yeah, this thing's a fucking beast. So let's check it out. Got my Earl Grey here. And uh, let's get started unboxing this thing. See what we get. The box has arrived. Nice, reasonable amount of packaging here. Doesn't seem to be too crazy with the bubble wrap. What is this? Look at this. Ooh, what the heck is this? This is uh, prestige. Oh, it's it's a slip case. Look at this. It's like it's like velour co covered or something like that. It's uh, really really nice feeling. That's that's kind of, that's a nice touch. And you guys get to see this box here. This is freaking cool. This is the case that's coming in. This is a wooden case. That's not plastic, that's not cardboard. This is freaking wood. Well done, MSI. Dragon logo, this is prestige right here. I think I'm gonna like this. Now, before I go any further, let me tell you this. MSI is not paying me for this. I don't even get to keep this. I get to hang on this for a couple months and work with it and do my show with it. I'm gonna do some live streams with it. I'm gonna bring it back down to LA with me for a few weeks and I'm gonna bring it to TGU with me and I'm gonna do all that production um, on this laptop and do some editing because I'm really looking forward to loading this up with DaVinci Resolve and just seeing what this, this beast can do. But they're not paying me to say nice things so I can critique them. Anyway, it's the moment of truth. Let's get some dramatic music playing. Look at that. Look at how thin that is. It's light. Wow, look, the whole bottom's just, just vents for the cooling system. There's cooling vents up front. This is, this is so light. Yeah, and NVIDIA GeForce, I think this has got a 1070 in it or a 1080 or something ridiculous like that. I'm sure it's got a spec sheet in here somewhere. And this is gonna be a full on video editor. Look at this, one hand, no problem. Now, I'm curious to see how big the power supply is on this as well, because I've been hauling around this Asus laptop since 2012, and it's been great, but the keyboard's starting to die, and the power supply on it's just, you know, weighs like two kilos or something. It's just ridiculous. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what this has, what it does, how big it is. That's power supply. That weighs nothing. I think this weighs less than than, the, than my Asus power supply, honestly. The, the the laptop and the power supply. Stop sign. Stop. Any questions about this? Blah blah fucking blah. Okay, cool. Here's the warranty. Yeah, that's cool. That's the first laptop I've ever seen come in a wooden box. That's that's a really, really nice touch. Now, of course, I'm not going to be limited to just this tiny, tiny little little screen. I mean, you know, I can hook this up to my great big 35 here 
shouldn't be an issue. Now, one of my biggest gripes with my Acer laptop was just the size of the keys. I always found myself making typos and shit. This doesn't seem to be a problem here. All right, I'm gonna take a second and power this up and uh, we're gonna take a real quick look. All right, so I got it powered up and I'm just getting familiar with a few of the things. And I still can't get over how freaking light this thing is. Check this out. The screen goes back a full 180 degrees. That's pretty interesting. It's a 15.6 inch screen and has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. There's 32 gigs of RAM. It's running uh, Windows 10 Pro and has a GeForce 1070 in it. So first things first, I'm gonna put some audio software on it and I'm gonna put DaVinci Resolve on it, Affinity Photo and a few other programs I use to do the show and I'm gonna put it through a render test and see how it goes. So I'm gonna do a follow-up video in a couple days and just kind of like a preliminary review and let you guys know what I think of it. But so far, yeah, this is just impressed me to no end. Wow. We'll see how well it holds up to our torture test. We'll see how well it holds up on the road, but so far so good. Nice job, MSI. Hey guys, if you like the video, be sure to subscribe as I post every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. If you want to learn more about recording, check out one of my tutorials or one of my gear reviews if you want the actual honest truth about a piece of equipment. Till next time, stay metal, my friends.